Eight Signs Your Body Is Begging For Vitamin D Ever since your childhood, your parents, teachers, and doctors seem to be on repeat. Take your vitamins! Eat this, it has this vitamin. Drink that, it'll give you that vitamin. Well, this sense of urgency isn't without reason. A vitamin deficiency can take a huge toll on your health. Today, we're focusing on the extremely important vitamin D. What signs show a deficiency, how serious is the problem, and what can you do to get more of it? Keep watching to find out. Be sure to click subscribe and ring the notification bell to join us on the Bright Side. Now, let's take a look at some common symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency. Starting with number 1. You sweat excessively. Of course, sweating is a totally normal thing, especially if you've just taken a long run or it's a particularly hot day. Sweating that seems a little excessive or not brought on by anything particularly obvious, however, can be a sign that you're lacking vitamin D. If you notice that you're sweating excessively, even if it's not that hot out, you may want to ask your doctor about it. As for any new parents out there, it's worth noting that infants who sweat excessively are often suspected of having a vitamin D deficiency. 2. Your bones often ache As you get older, it's pretty common to experience sore joints and aching bones. But bone pain can be a sign of a vitamin D deficiency. You've probably heard that you need calcium for strong bones. Well, it can't do much for you without vitamin D's help. Without vitamin D, your bones can't absorb the necessary amount of calcium to create healthy bone tissue, causing a weakening of the bones known as osteomalacia. This can lead to a sensitivity in your bones, which can result in fractures and bone diseases like osteoporosis. Number 3. You have muscle pain. Have you ever noticed that your muscles feel sore and take a while to get back to normal after a workout? This is pretty normal since exercising causes microscopic tears in the muscle fibers that take some time to heal. However, if you feel like your muscles become sore really easily and for long amounts of time, it may be because you're not getting enough vitamin D. In addition to aching bones and muscles, a lack of vitamin D can cause chronic pain throughout the entire body. This debilitating condition is known as fibromyalgia and it makes life a living nightmare for those who suffer from it. Number 4. You get sick all the time Suffering from your fourth or fifth virus this year? It may be because a lack of vitamin D is causing your immune system to work poorly. In her 2011 study, Dr. Cynthia Aronow of the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research found that vitamin D did more than just help with bone health. She saw that cells in the immune system were actually able to synthesize when exposed to vitamin D. What does that mean? Aronow believes that people with autoimmune diseases could be treated with vitamin D. So next time cold and flu season comes around, make sure you're prepped with lots of vitamin D in your body. Number 5. You can't seem to stay energized. It's 4 p.m. and you feel like you have two bricks as eyelids and barely have the strength to get up from your desk. Sound familiar? There could be quite a few reasons for this feeling, like staying up a little too late the night before, but it can also be due to a lack of vitamin D. If you feel unusually fatigued every day and can't seem to shake it, it may be worth talking to a doctor about it. I know it's really tasty and refreshing, but relying on coffee all the time isn't always the best solution. Number 6. When you get cuts or bruises, they take forever to heal. Does it seem like your small wounds and injuries take longer to heal than everyone else's? There could be a couple of reasons for this. Sometimes people who smoke experience slower healing on their wounds due to low oxygen levels in their body that are brought on by this bad habit. But this kind of slow healing can also be because of a lack of, say it with me, vitamin D. If you happen to have diabetes and notice your wounds taking forever to heal, you should pay special attention to the levels of vitamin D in your body. According to scientists and medical experts like Dr. Nancy Munoz, a doctor of clinical nutrition, vitamin D can positively affect blood glucose and cholesterol levels and stabilize them. People with diabetes tend to have issues with both those things, so keeping an eye on vitamin D levels can be especially crucial to their health. Number 7 you notice more hair falling out of your head than usual. The average person loses anywhere from 50 to 100 hairs from their head every day. Scary, right? But if you suffer from a lack of vitamin D, you can lose way more than that, at least enough to notice that something's definitely not right. 
Some hair loss treatments use vitamin D to help combat the issue, but things like genetics and other disorders could also be the culprit. If you suffer from an unusual amount of hair loss, it's best to consult your doctor to find the root of the problem. No pun intended. Number 8. You can't shake the feeling of sadness. Depression is no joke. Many people who struggle with depression experience a lack of appetite, fatigue, and in some cases, actual physical pain. But what does vitamin D have to do with depression? Quite a bit, believe it or not. According to Psychology Today, vitamin D is the only vitamin that is also a hormone. Once ingested or absorbed through the skin, vitamin D releases neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin that have a strong impact on how the brain works. In studies on the relationship between vitamin D and depression, scientists discovered traces of the vitamin on cells found in the regions where depression resides. Because of this, a treatment that includes a dose of vitamin D can help treat depression and other anxiety disorders in some people. Of course, there are many different causes of depression, and everyone's individual case is different. But if you're suffering from depression or anxiety, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about the possibility of a vitamin D deficiency. Okay, so now you know what to look for when it comes to a lack of vitamin D. But what can you do to get more of it and prevent your body from developing a vitamin D deficiency again in the future? Well, eating foods rich in vitamin D is a great way to start. Foods that contain vitamin D include fatty fish like salmon, herring, and sardines, orange juice, soy milk, cheese, egg yolks, mushrooms, oysters, and shrimp. Along with including more of those foods in your diet, vitamin D can also be attained by spending time outside. According to the Arthritis Foundation, spending 10 to 15 minutes in the sun every other day or so can help replenish your vitamin D levels. Even sitting by an open window can help give you more vitamin D. Just don't forget to be mindful of sun damage and wear sunscreen and protective clothing before you head out. One of the most straightforward ways to get more vitamin D is to take a supplement. But even if you have a few of the symptoms from this list, it's important not to self-diagnose. Even if you are pretty sure you're lacking vitamin D, you should always consult your doctor before downing any kind of vitamin supplements. While vitamin D has the word vitamin in it, that doesn't mean it can't be harmful. Ever hear of the saying, too much of a good thing? Yeah, getting too much vitamin D is actually possible. While overdosing on vitamin D is pretty rare, it does happen, so pay attention to your intake. Symptoms of a vitamin D overdose can include nausea, constipation, and confusion, to name a few. As with most things in life, balance is key. Do you suspect that you might have a vitamin D deficiency? Let us know which symptoms you've experienced down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.